today we're going to talk about the Athlon 200 GE and if you haven't heard a recent BIOS update and it sounds like this affects all of the motherboards across the MSI lineup that have overclocking ability so the B350, X370, B450 and X470 boards the 200 GE is apparently with the November BIOS update now unlocked at least the core is unlocked so that you can overclock it and that's really interesting especially from a sales perspective of the uh, other AMD APUs as well. So right now a 200 GE is $55 on Amazon and I actually just bought one today. It's in the mail. It'll be here Wednesday. So it is coming. I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing some overclocking with it because I actually already have an MSI board on my test bench and that's why I went ahead and ordered the processor because it's $55. You know, I'll make some of the money back through AdSense and that sort of thing anyways. So the actual cost for me of the 200 GE is worth it in regard to I get some fun content out of it and I get to overclock a processor that in all honesty I really think should have been unlocked from the get-go but that whole argument of whether the 200 GE was going to cannibalize these APUs sales or not that's sort of beside the point today I want to focus on the fact or at least the opinion not really a fact at all but the opinion that I have the AMD should go ahead and go to the other motherboard manufacturers on the AM4 platform and just let them go ahead and unlock the 200 GE on their platforms as well because even though it looks like well, at least hopefully it was an accident that MSI unlocked this processor now we're playing with an uneven playing field where all of the other motherboard manufacturers are working with a locked 200 GE and at this point, if you are buying a 200 GE, there is absolutely no other motherboard you should be buying other than an MSI board and then flashing that November BIOS update so that you can overclock this processor. Because as low power as it is, even with the box cooler, you should still be able to get a pretty solid overclock on it. And what makes it doubly important here, at least in the perspective of other motherboard manufacturers, is that the AM4 platform has a fantastic upgrade path right now. You can go anywhere from a two core and four thread part like the 200 GE all the way up to eight cores and 16 threads. So if I was buying a 200 GE now with plans on upgrading in the future, chances are strong that I would buy a B350 or an X370 board with a solid power delivery system and then I would just drop in a new processor down the road and I wouldn't even necessarily be looking to upgrade the actual platform itself, the motherboard itself, for quite a long time. So by putting themselves in this position where they're playing with an uneven playing field with the 200 GE they are actually are probably getting a significant little chunk of motherboard sales that they wouldn't have otherwise got and it's also going to hold people off of other motherboard manufacturers products for quite a while because AM4 is not going anywhere anytime soon at least it doesn't look like it is uh, my fingers are still quite crossed that the, the uh, third generation of Ryzen processors are also supported on B350 and X370 boards. And if that's the case, we're looking at a motherboard that spans three generation of Ryzen processors and the 200 GE is the entry point to that. Now, to be clear, I don't think anyone's bottom line is going to be completely busted by the 200 GE being a better pairing with MSI boards versus any other manufacturer. But I do think that it is just an unlevel playing field right now. And AMD, now that the cat's out of the bag, you're not going to get it put back in the bag. I think it would be better off for AMD to just go ahead and say, open up the 200 GE. They would get the PR bump from allowing all of the motherboard manufacturers to go ahead and unlock the overclocking for the 200 GE. So there's a PR bump. You get some good public relations going and at the end of the day, you level the playing field, which is fair for all the motherboard manufacturers. So I do have an MSI motherboard on my test bench. My Athlon 200 GE is in the mail. I am very much looking forward to overclocking it with the uh, stock cooler that comes with it. I'm very fascinated to see if I can hit like 3.8 gigahertz on the stock cooler without it sounding like a jet engine. So very much looking forward to that. Uh, the processor comes Wednesday, so that coverage is probably gonna be later in the week. Um, and to be clear, the MSI boards are unlocking the core overclocking, but not RAM overclocking. So to my knowledge, you're still stuck with 2666 megahertz. But that's just my thoughts on the scenario that we're looking at right now. Um, AMD, just level the playing field. Just let everybody unlock the overclocking for the 200 GE. Get the PR bump that goes with allowing people to do more with the processor that they may even already have. And then move about your merry way. Because honestly, I don't think 
it's even affecting the APU sales that much to begin with. So as far as cannibalizing their own sales, I don't think AMD has a whole lot to worry about. And even if they do cannibalize a small amount of sales, again, I don't think it's going to be a big enough chunk to really make any kind of noticeable difference on the bottom line. But hey, that's just my thoughts, and I do want to hear from you guys. Let me know down below, should AMD go ahead and tell other motherboard manufacturers to just open it up and sort of release the 200 GE and make it essentially an unlocked processor? Let us know down below. And of course, if you like the video, hey, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things, social media down here, videos from YouTube all around me. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.